okay just understand this real area lock i will just first i will tell it what is this real lock means okay what is this real lock means okay let's understand this story guys okay let's uh, first understand this story okay let's say i have uh, let's say i have two buildings okay let's say i have two buildings okay one is big building other one is one normal size building okay let's say like this okay now what i'll do it uh, this building has uh, around like four floors let me take it as four floors okay and this building has uh, let's say around three floors okay one two three floors okay now there is a builder okay there is a builder okay the owner of this building is same okay let's say this building name is a let's say the building name is a let's say the building name is b okay this building name is b the owner of the building is same or someone okay someone what i will do is what i'll do is this building owner want to construct something here okay he need to construct uh, even more uh, floors okay upon this b building okay he want to construct around like uh, four more floors okay four more floors means total of the size of the building will become seven now okay now he will call the contractor and he will ask it okay contractor okay go to the building and uh, see the building and i want on this building i wanted what i wanted four more floors okay totals so that the total floors should be seven floors okay that is what he will communicate it now tell me okay the building owner what all he need to share with him okay what all the basic thing he want to share with him okay what are the basic thing you want to share with him okay if you are if you are like this okay you ab share me a bahut sare building hai building ko sagar pata nahi hai correct right what you need to share it first the address of the building whether it is a a said whether it is a building or a b building correct right you need to share which building it is the address of the building and next one is how how much floor i want to construct it correct right how much floor i want to construct it same thing on the prospect of the real lock real lock is also real lock is also designed in the same manner okay real lock is also designed in the same manner okay you have a method called as realloc okay realloc is a method guys realloc okay realloc is a method guys okay this method can be used okay this method can be used on already constructed memory okay realloc can be used already constructed memory that means what is that means is uh if before using real lock i need to use either malloc or kellock okay without using malloc and kellock sir can i use without using malloc and kellock can i use directly real lock sir no sir i cannot use it okay so it, there should be already created memory okay upon that it will create a memory okay now what all the what all the things you will pass it to the real lock first thing is you need to pass the address okay you need to pass what address whether it is a building or a b building for example i want to go to the b building i'll pass the address now i want to pass it what is the total number of size of the building okay here next next parameter is total number of size of the building okay so what what was the owner is communicating to the contractor he wanted the total number of uh, this, he wanted more four floors upon this building correct right that means the total number of floors will be 7 i want to pass here total number of floors okay total number of floors remember this i want to pass total number of, no sir i will pass four sir building owner needs four more floors sir okay what happens when you do it four okay what happens when you do it four when you do it four what happens is okay it will create total number of size of the building is four four okay four floors okay so 1 2 3 4 it will not create seven okay so what happens if i if i create if i pass only one sir here if i pass only one sir what happens when you pass one is it will deallocate the memory reallocation of the memory and deallocation of the memory can be done by the realloc okay here you will pass the address here you will pass the total size of the block okay total size of the block what is the total size of the block you want to reserve the memory okay after reservation of the memory after reservation of the memory okay after reservation of the memory for example you are passing 7 here okay for example you are passing here 7 okay so what happens now when you pass 7 it will create four more floors upon that and after creation of the four more floors it will send the address okay that address okay even this method is also sending the address that address will be type of void type okay that address will be type of void type okay what all are you passing here you are passing here address you are passing here address and the total number of number of lock total number of lock total number of block this one one thing you need to 
remember it okay address and the total number of blocks these are two parameters after creating the memory what it will do it it will create the memory and it will send the initial address that initial address will be in the form of what void star later you know how to convert it how to typecast it how to store it in variable and what to do blah 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 okay so always remember when you can use the real log after creating a memory for creating a memory you need to use calloc and malloc okay for reallocating and deallocating a memory you will be using realloc thing okay here one thing you need to understand guys one important thing is there okay i told you one situation right what is the situation what is that situation okay here i'll tell you one line okay i'll i'll explain this here when you are using realloc okay when you are using realloc and creating a memory the address might be same or might be changed okay it might change the address okay why it is changing the address i will tell you the reason why it is changing the why it will change the address what is the reason that it will change the address for example for example okay i want to create four blocks correct right for example i want to create four more blocks here total number is seven okay when i am constructing okay when i am constructing so understand this when i am constructing it okay when i am constructing it what happens when i am constructing it i am constructing a block okay i am constructing a block after 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 constructing so much itself after constructing so much itself it tells that i can only create three blocks sir here total number is only six blocks sir okay i cannot clear seven floor sir i cannot clear the seven floor sir at this situation what will do is it will search for the free memory where there is a free memory okay somewhere in the memory it, it will having a free continuous free memory okay it will search for the free memory over there it will go okay over there it will go okay over there it will go and it will create seven blocks okay one and two and three and four and five and six and seven okay it will create a seven block okay? it will create some block for example sir i will be having here uh, 30 already i have memory sir i have 10 i have 20 correct right i have 20 here sir okay so uh, when what i'll do is it will shift this memories okay it will shift all these things okay it will shift all these things to here okay now in this block what i should write it i should write it 20 i should write it uh, 10 okay i should write it 10 and i should write it 30 i should write it 30 and these are the free memories okay this is the free memories okay what happens if there is no permission in that area okay to create four blocks okay maybe like seven floors what will do it it will check for the some other free space okay over there it will create seven floors okay over there it will seven floors okay the address of this one will be differing let's say this one's address is nothing but uh uh one year okay let's say one year okay this one's address is one year okay this one's address will become 1c this one's address is 1c now actually you have changed the address okay that is what i'm telling it when you are using reallocation it might change the address the address might be changed okay why it is changing this is the reason address might be same or it might be changed depending upon the situation okay so much you got it guys so much you got it okay and this memory is made it free this memory is made it free okay in later anyone can use it and this block is reserved now who is reserving it this real lock is reserving it is going it is giving the address of this one and it is saved in the same variable it is giving to b itself now b's address is changed from 1a to 1c okay it's like shifting your college okay the college location is shifted some some other location the people will be same thing faculty will be same thing everything will be same thing just a location is changed that's it done guys understood guys <coughs> yes sir okay let me recall this let me recall this okay what are all the points okay reallocation when you go for reallocation is when you use already existing memory you need to for existing memory you need to use malloc or Calloc, okay after that only you can use a reallocation okay in reallocation you have two parameters one is address other one is uh total number of blocks okay in reallocation you can deallocate the memory also you can reallocate the memory also okay by how guys just by passing total number of blocks okay already there is uh, four blocks if i pass here two here it will reserve only two two blocks okay that means it is deallocating the memory if it is there is only three blocks okay i wanted seven blocks so i'll pass it seven it creates what reallocation of the memory okay so it will increase the memory okay so total number of sizes seven when you're increasing memory there are two chances the address might be same address might not be same okay 
So uh, why this address may not be same if the continuous memory allocation is not there. So much size of memory, continuous memory allocation is not there. Okay, at that time what I will do it, it will create a new memory, some other location, and it will give the address. At this time, the address will be changed. Okay, it will return the address, and address type is what? Wire type itself. Done? So shall we move on to the program, guys? Okay, we'll move on to the program. We'll move on to the program. Take the screenshot, whatever you want to do it. The screenshot, whatever you want to do it. Okay, so let's go for the program. Let's go for the program. You need to tell me. I'll be asking a question, and you will. You need to tell me. Okay. So now here, here, guys. Okay, here I have uh, used same thing. This, this lines will be same thing. Nothing to worry about it. And later, if n is equal to equal to zero, okay, cool, no problem. If n is equal to equal to zero, uh, memory error. It is a memory error. I'll be, I'll be simply. I'm, I'll be sending it. Okay, it's a memory error itself. Later, I will come here. Later, I will come here, or I'll do it. I need to read this uh, memory. Same thing is the same procedure. After reading this memory, you will get to know. Ho ho ho! I want some more memory. I want what? I want even more memory. I want increase memory or decrease memory. Okay. So what I'll do is I will ask a user printf. Okay. Uh, do you wanna? Okay. Do you wanna realloc? Realloc. Okay. Re. Realloc the memory. Okay, do you want to realloc the memory? Okay, if I ask this, okay, if I ask this, okay, you, you need to tell this, okay, you need to tell the user, okay, you need to give the option for the user, print f, okay, you will give the option for the user something like this, okay, uh, if s, if s, okay, I'll let us type one, okay, if s type one, okay, now I want to allow it to enter some read some input. So what I'll do it. I'll let us scan up. Okay, I'll let us scan up. I'll let us scan up percentage uh, D. I'll let us I'm saying of one variable. I need to give it. Okay, I'll declare one variable. I'll declare one variable. Okay, I'll declare one variable called as uh, what I'll, let. I'll let us temporary variable. I'll let us temporary variable. Okay, temporary variable. I'll declare this variable here. I'll let us uh, T here. Okay, I'll delta t here. Okay, so if 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 okay t equal equal to one. Okay, that's the solution. What will do it? You need to increase the memory. Correct, right? If t is equal equal to one, if t is equal equal to one, so you will be telling that you need to reallocate the memory. Okay, how do you reallocate the memory? How do you reallocate the memory? By using a memory called as reallocate. Okay, you reallocate. Yes. Okay. So you will be using a method called as realloc. You will be using a method called as realloc. Okay. So you need to reallocate the memory. So you need two information. One is which building you need to increase it. Okay. So what I'll do it. I want to increase or decrease this building. Okay. The the address is in x correct, right? So I'll pass it here. X no problem with that. Now you need to read it. What is the total number? Okay. Whether you need to increase the memory, you need to decrease the memory. I want to read it. Okay. So what I'll do it. I will enter the user. I will tell the user. To print it, print f. Okay. Uh, enter the enter the new size. Okay. Enter the new size. I'll let us enter the new size. I'll I'll come back here. I'll I'll let us print f. Okay. Sorry. I'll let us scan f. I'll scan that uh, input. I'll let us scan f. Okay. I'll let us percentage d. Okay. I'll tell percentage d. I'll let us uh, ampersand. Okay. I will take a new new number. I'll let us n two. N2. I want to read this value. So what I'll do it now. I will go here. I'll declare this one N2. N2 is equal to initially. I will tell it as zero. Okay. So why zero? Because uh, it might. Well, just I'm declaring a zero because local variable differs. Instead of now, what I'll do it now. Here I'll add it N2 here. Done. So realloc. I'm passing. I'm passing what here? Initial address and total number of blocks. Okay. Total number of blocks. Whatever it is. Okay. Now. After this realloc, what it will do? It will go and it will reallocate the memory. It will reallocate the memory, and it will send what initial address. That initial address should be saved back to the same variable called as x. Okay. I want to typecast it now. I want to typecast it to which one now? Int star. Since x is in the int star, I will write as int star. Done with this. Okay. Now after this, okay, reallocation is done. Reallocation is done. After reallocation of memory, after reallocation of memory, so much is done. After reallocation of memory, I want to read the input for this one. Okay. Now tell me, guys, how to read the memory? 
for example okay for example uh, reading a memory the same line okay scan of percentage d i will let us i will let us same thing okay i will let us uh, scan of i will let us scan of i will let us percentage d i will let us uh, i will let us x plus i itself okay i differ the question is my question is simple guys i will be telling us for loop i will telling us for loop for int i i want you to tell what is i equal to you need to think it and i should run till how many blocks and i will let us i plus plus what should be here okay what should be here what is i equal to here what is i less than okay what what is this i less than what is this okay for example i will tell it something like this guys and you have already written okay when n is equal to for this n is equal to at the beginning n is equal to nothing but what three correct right for here at the beginning for here at the beginning n is equal to what n n is what guys n is nothing but what three okay now n is nothing but three okay now you are reading n2 okay n2 is what guys you are suppose you are reading n2 is equal to what seven okay seven now tell me from where my location should start from where my location should start here okay so that it will it will read it from that memory and answer right it from i want to start it from n why i want to start it from n this is nothing but zero one two this is nothing but three okay this three is actually stored in where n correct right so what i'll do it now i will come here and i will let it as n and this should run till which guys n2, n2. okay suppose if i read n2 is itself uh, two okay if i read n, when n is equal to three i will read it n2 is equal to two what happens now now i is initialized to three and it will check it three is less than two condition becomes false it will never read it done guys done okay i have i have read this i have read this everything is done okay so so much this the new thing is so much guys okay the new thing is so much okay now there is actually one line one line i will tell you what is the situation what is that line okay one simple line i want to add it after that it is done actually okay look on this guys here here if i go inside the n block okay if i go inside the reallocation block okay if i don't go inside the reallocation block it will run from 0 to 3 it will run from 0 to 3 no problem with that in case if i enter to the realloc okay this should run from 0 to 7 0 to 7 so what is the small changes i want to do it i want to make it as n2 here correct right n2 times i want to run it okay if i don't go inside the realloc equation block i want to run till n n to block itself what changes i want to do what what are the changes i want to do it okay so this n differs when it is entering inside the block when it is not entering inside the block now you will end up getting two situation what happens when you enter inside the reallocation block what happens when you enter when you don't enter inside the reallocation block anyone able to answer so t ko change karenge if t equal equals to 1 then which one which one t so agar yes karane agar t equal equals to 1 hoga to n2 lenge agar otherwise n hi lenge okay look here look here can i make it like this guy okay if it is going inside this one can i make n is equal to n2 guys a simple a small line i can change the n value after doing all this operation so n will become if it is entering to this block n will become 7 okay n will become what 7 hey, look under this if i am entering into this block n2 will become n will become what 7 okay n will become what 7 okay if i am entering into this block n will become what n will become what 7 correct right? if i am not entering into this block n will remain 3 itself that is a small change i will be doing it here okay i will be doing it here a small change i will be doing it here okay i will run this program i will run this program okay uh, 
escape 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 shift colon w q okay so i'll clear this i will clear this and enter the i had a c c r e c dot c o l s r e a okay c c r e a dot c okay okay so many things you have it okay one is like a linker error uh, your scan of spelling mistake okay cool no problem so i'll go here i'll go here i'll tell it has uh, kahan pe c a kahan ka scan of spelling mistake ho gaya hai okay s c a s c a n f okay scanner so i will go here clear it c c r e a dot c dot slash uh, e dot o u t out okay now i want to enter the memory i will it has uh, 3 i will enter it okay i will read it uh, 30 i will it has 40 i will it has 50 okay now it is asking do you want to reallocate the memory yes i want to reallocate the memory i want to pass the total number of size okay i will it has 7 okay at this situation i will delete as 7 okay 7 so add kiya to ye kya ho gaya it is not waiting for me to read the memory i have not written the like memory to ji okay i have not written uh, proper values right okay i have written i have write uh, instead of typing 1 i have uh, i have typed it 7 okay that is a mistake which i have done it again i will rerun it okay and now i will write it only two blocks okay i will tell it as 10 and 20 i will run as 10 it is asking me do you want to reallocate the memory yes i want to reallocate the memory for four size okay no i want to enter yes i want to enter yes okay now tell us enter the new size what is the new size i will let us four now again i want to read it i will let it as 40 and i will let it as 50 okay and i am reading it i am getting it guys okay the reallocation of memory i am reallocating it okay for example now one more example guys one more example or uh, do you want to okay i want to enter the no, total number of size okay 50 my parallel count 10 i will read it 20 i will read it 30 i will read it 40 i will read it and 50 i will read it mujhe pata chalta hai okay i don't want this 40 and 50 now i don't want this 40 and 50 i want to deallocate the memory correct right so it is asking do you want to reallocation the memory yes i want to reallocate the memory what is the total number of size you want to reallocate it 3 okay at that time what is this doing it it is it is cutting this 40 and 50 and it is only printing me 10 and 20 it is working fine no problem with that okay now one more test cases i will pass it i for while entering it i'll tell it as zero okay n is equal to zero what is it telling it memory error even this one also working fine no problem again one more test cases i'll pass i'll i'll run it i'll tell it as two block i'll tell it as two block i'll tell it as uh, 10 and 20 guys i'll tell it as 10 and 20 guys do you want to reallocate memory yes i want to reallocate the memory i will pass zero okay i will pass zero at this situation at this situation it is printing me this one guys it is printing me what this one okay this one should be overcome now how i can overcome this how i can overcome this okay same thing guys same thing i will go here i will go here okay so where is n2 here it is n2 okay i am scanning n2 correct right i will tell it has here condition if n2 is equal equal to 0 if n2 is equal equal to zero what i need to do what okay i want to write it all this line okay memory error exit of zero correct right instead of this i use a go to statement go to m okay go to m okay okay go to m or else i'll tell it as a label this is nothing but a label i'll tell it as go to mib okay so what i'll do is i will go here i will declare a label here i'll declare a label here mib okay you can instead of re instead of rewriting it i have created the label guys that's it nothing to worry about okay what i have done it here what i have done it here okay if n2 is equal equal to 0 if n2 is equal equal to 0 what i am telling it go to mib it will go to mib okay it will jump it okay it will print memory error and exit of 0 let's say, check it out how it works let's check it out how it works i'll tell it has uh, i'll tell it has compile it i'll compile it and later i'll tell it has run this program i will tell it as n is equal to 2 guys i will read it 10 9 20 i will read 10 9 20 s yes, i want to change it i will tell it as enter of 0 0 what is it getting it memory error and it is terminated done done guys that's it that's it okay i will clear this i will clear this okay i will erase this everything i need you take down this okay and this become the creation of the memory and this becomes the exception okay this becomes the exception when it is coming the exception guys when it is being the exception guys uh wait is again wait is again wait is again this becomes the exception this entire block will become exception 
when you are not creating the memory and this block is nothing but uh, writing inside the block writing inside the block and this block okay this entire block inside this entire block is nothing but reallocation of the memory okay so much thing okay so much thing in this i will be dividing it okay uh, one is like uh, you are telling the option just for the option you are doing this okay just for the option i will divide this it is not mandatory that you need to do it you can end up with just with a scan of okay so if it is equal equal to one what you will do it you will read the value of n2 okay you will read the value of n2 you will read the value of n2 till here okay if n2 is equal equal to 0 what will do it if n2 is equal to equal to 0 this is the, this is also exception now this is also exception now if n2 is equal equal to 0 what happens mib it will go here it will go and print memory error and exit of 0 okay if it is n2 is not equal equal to 0 you have to reallocate the memory and the reallocation process you know how it happening address and uh, whatever the total number of size will create it return the address address which is of void type you will type cast it and save it back to x now what happens you need to you, you need to you need to read the memo read inside the memory what will do it for reading inside the memory you will write it you will write this code and you know why it is n why it is n2 correct right from n you need to start it until new number you need to end it okay so for the less number also it will work it for greater number is also work it if it is entering inside this block n will change it guys to n2 okay for the further calculation what is this further calculation just for the display part what is the display part i want to display it okay n will remain constant if it is entering to this block, n's value is nothing but n2. If it is not entering this block, n's value remains as same as it is. Okay, that's it. Okay, take down this program. Take down this program. Very simplified for uh, you. You can, if you look on this program, you can clear with the calloc, malloc, realloc, everything. Okay, shall I continue the topic, guys? One small topic. That's it, done. Okay, about the free, yes, I will discuss yes, about it. I will be not executing any programming. Okay, so I will just tell it in the uh, rougher column. Okay, what is this free? Okay, uh, trust me on this, guys. Okay, trust me on this. Okay, you cannot uh, delete a memory, guys. Okay, you cannot delete a memory, but you can free the memory. What is this free means? Uh, you are just setting that block as free. Okay, later you can anyone can come and you know you can use that block. It's like a big a big land like you are you're taking on land okay you're staying over there okay now you will migrate it okay to other place okay you will not reserve that land okay you will give it, you will leave it like that itself okay in later in futures anyone can come to that land and they can occupy that land okay that is what the free is also doing it okay what i'm doing with the free is free is a method name free is a method name okay what is the parameter i want to pass it okay which which block you need to make it free which building you need to make it free okay for example you you have an a and b building okay here you have x building a building name as x i want to pass this address i want to pass this address okay that is nothing but i have the address parameter i want to pass what here address type i want to pass what address type okay what is the return type of this free is nothing it will return it okay it will not return anything so it is what what that is what it is the free is okay so whenever you are uh, deleting something when you are deleting something you will free the memory okay if you don't free the memory what happens is that block will be reserved itself so in future no one can use it okay you will migrate it you will never come to that place at all okay but what you will do it you will reserve and you will go for it okay got it so if you free that memory what happens anyone can come and occupy that land okay so that is the case of the free okay for example when you are dealing with the link clip Okay. You, you will be having certain number of nodes. Let's say you are having 500 nodes. In that 500 nodes, you will you need to free, you will delete one node. Okay, you will you will remove the connection. You know how to remove the connection. We'll discuss in later, later classes. You will you will remove one node. Okay, you will remove one node. Okay, by removing the connection. That memory will be like that itself, guys. Okay, that memory will be reserved. Okay, and until unless you don't free it. If you tell it free of that address, okay, that memory is free now. Okay. Uh, this is all about the so the dynamic memory allocation, calloc, malloc, realloc, free. Once I will glance it, uh, malloc, you know, it will create a block of memory, a fixed size of the memory, it will entire block, where has garbage values. Whereas calloc, it will create the contagious memory allocation. Both are used for the creation of the memo memory allocation. Where in the calloc, you will be having a default value called as zeros. Okay. So if you want to use realloc, what you will do with the realloc is something like this. You want to create the memory. There should be already created memory. Upon that, you will be using realloc. Okay. 
So that is how it is. Even realloc is having a two parameters. One you need to pass the address, other one you need to pass the total number of blocks. Okay, and three method is also returning the address type itself. If the address the address will return it, the address type will be void type. Later you need to typecast it and you need to save it. And there comes last one is free. What is this free does this? Free does this. You need to pass the address. Okay, which block you need to free? It. What is this free? Is nothing but it is not deleting the memory. And uh, trust me, honest, you cannot ever ever can delete a memory. But you can what you do? You can do one thing is you can overwrite the memory, or else you can allow that memory so that someone will come and use it. Okay, reservation. You can remove the reservation of the memory. That's it. Okay, but you cannot delete the memory. Okay, up uh, uh, wherever you are staying it, you cannot you know you cannot uh, make that memory as invisible. Correct, right? Uh, you can what you can do is you can leave that memory and you can go for it. Okay, so that someone will come and use it. That is what you will use it. And the return type of the free will be what void type. That's it. Hope this session was clear for you. 